Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. It's so good to see you. It's so good to have you here. As always, it's your girl Daniela, aka Miss Four Lizard, aka the Planning Diva. And today I'm going to be sharing with you a flip through of my happy planner. My happy planners, I should say. Well, actually, I'm thinking of splitting it into two videos, part one and part two. So in this video, in part one, we're gonna be flipping through my ha this happy planner and sharing with you all of the creative things that I have been up to in my happy planner, all my weekly spreads, all my monthly spreads. And I'm excited to share with you um, what I've been up to in my happy planner. So if you're interested in checking that out, just keep on watching. So if you watched my July planner setup, you know that I used to have all of my happy planners combined into one happy planner. And um, that's what I shared in that flip through and in that July planner lineup, planner setup video. But I decided that that was a little bit too unwieldy, like having all of those planners combined into one um, one planner. I, I It was just hard to turn the pages. And so I decided to split um, my planners into two planners. And so that is what we have going on here. Now I have two planners. So I have, uh, the reason why it was so unwieldy was because I have 15 different planners and um, having all of them in one planner was a little bit too much for me. Even though I did, I do usually just include one month at a time, but because I also have a bunch of other things in there as well and because decorating and such always, um, it, it really, uh, thickens up your planner it was just a, a little bit too much and so I ended up uh, splitting s seven sections into this planner and eight sections into this planner and that is what we have going on here so this planner is um, the cover is from the colorful leopard lined vertical planner from the happy planner and the discs are these beautiful blue discs and the planners that I have in here are my mood tracker and my magic and spirituality section, my academic grad school section, my fitness planner, my household planner, my nonprofit planner, and my budget planner. And then this one, this is the um, pressed florals from the horizontal happy planner. And I have her on these gorgeous hot pink and lavender metallic expander discs. And the sections that I have in here are my garden planner, my zen planner, my journal, my current events planner, my social planner, my reading journal, my Japanese journal, and my Ford Lizard YouTube uh, journal. So that's what I have going on here. And this planner is kind of like my, um, it's my baby. This is my main planner because I have a lot of the stuff that I work in on the daily in here, like my graduate school stuff, my faith stuff, my uh, fitness, my household, my budget, my nonprofit work. This is all things that are a little bit more serious for me. And this planner is all of my hobbies and extracurriculars and things that, you know, if I don't get into every single day, it's not a big deal. So. Um, this is more like my fun planner. So we're gonna flip through this one in a next video and we're gonna focus on the, this planner today um, for this video and let's get into it. So I'm gonna try to show you all the planners that I um, pulled these pages from. So again, this is the colorful leopard lined vertical cover. So gorgeous, I love it so much. And the inside, like the cover pages though, are from the Mickey Mouse, uh, let's see. They are from the dashboard planner from um, the Disney Mickey Mouse collaboration. And this one is so gorgeous, so cute. So that is, uh, these cover pages are from this planner here. I wanted a Disney cover page and so I grabbed this one. I thought it was really cute and I, I decorated it with the colorful leopard stickers and I scripted out my name in these sunset colors. I'm really happy with how this cover page turned out. And we have the year at a glance and the perpetual calendar, which I do use, but not a lot. 
and I have my July overview here that I just decorated with Pocahontas and some florals and some cute quotes. So I didn't use the July overview page how um, very functionally or like how it's traditionally used because I just have a couple of sections and different things separating it from when the pages actually start. And so I didn't want to kind of like have it be so separated. Um, I wish that they wouldn't put the July overview on the back of the perpetual calendar because a lot of the times people want to split these apart and you have you end up having this monthly overview so removed from when the actual pages start. Anyway, so then I have a Mickey Mouse envelope with some stickers in it and then a folder with some daily productivity pages in here and some more daily productivity sheets in here as well as um, just stationery and some Pusheen coloring pages and some things I printed out. And I have my sticky note dashboard here. And uh, and if you'll notice as I flip through this planner, there's a lot of like uh, cat print in, in here, a lot of cheetah print, a lot of leopard print because I'm trying to stick with the theme of the colorful leopard cover. And so I have the scrapbook piece of paper with this um, leopard print on it and I have the sticky notes from the colorful leopard sticky note pack as well as some other ones from Daiso and other happy planner sticky notes but I have a lot of the colorful leopard sticky notes in here and I have uh, the back of it decorated with mambi sticks and um, these pressed floral stickers and then I have another piece of scrapbook paper with some stickers on it. I just glue sticker sheets um, to scrapbook paper and that way I just have like a, 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 a sheet of stickers in case I want some stickers. And these stickers are um, kind of like mood tracking type stickers, positivity and wellness stickers. And then we go into my first section, which is my mood tracker, my mood journal, and I have my little bookmark here, which says mood. And this planner is from the Wildflower Skinny Mini Planner. And I originally got this to be my gardening planner, and then I realized it was way too small to function as my gardening planner. So I decided to go to do something fun with it, be experimental. And so I decided to have this be my mood tracker. So I actually have two months in here. This is the month of June and I use the monthly overview as a mood tracker. I write one word about how I'm feeling that day and I have two months in here at a time because I kind of like seeing how my mood changes over a longer period of time. And the weeklies I decorate, I also like to write affirmations in here i like to write gratitude statements in here i'll i'll write something positive in here i'll write dreams prayers um goals hopes wishes in here it's just a space for me to be vulnerable to be raw to journal um, to be authentic to connect with uh, something positive and spiritual and this is my july a monthly overview as you can see I'm already starting to write in it and then this is the first week of July which was a purple theme and then this is the current week here which I used um, some recollections stickers uh, that are kind of like bright and party like and then I already started decorating for the next week and really this planner is so so tiny it's so easy to keep up with just one sentence or one sticker will fill up the entire day and so i definitely recommend getting a skinny mini if you don't want to feel overwhelmed with like a new section before you jump into getting like a regular sized planner if 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 you want to like experiment with a new journal or a new planner and you're not sure if it'll overwhelm you or not try getting a skinny mini and seeing if you can keep up with that for a whole year and if you can then you know that you can and on the back of that scrapbook paper i have some more stickers these are wellness and self-care stickers so i have those in case i want to reach for those and then before i get into the rest of my planner sections i have my daily section which is marked by this bookmark and i just have my product my daily productivity sheets in here these i custom made um on you know just using microsoft office word and i decorated them with the very hungry caterpillar and 
yeah, I have some of them printed on colored paper as well. So I have those here. And then I have some wellness pages. I actually came from this wellness journal from the Disney and Mickey Mouse collaboration. Always find something to smile about. Very cute. Of course, I changed the discs on that already. But these pages came from that wellness journal. And so I have them here. And yeah just in case i want to reach for a wellness journaling page i also kind of use them for productivity pages like i'll use the wellness components of them but i'll also use like i'll write down my hourly schedule or my, or my like um the, my daily to do's so i use them kind of as a hybrid of like productivity and wellness and then i just have some blank pages from various happy planner filler packs in case i want to reach for any of those and then I have my sleep section, and I have this Minnie Mouse bookmark separating it from the daily section. I have my bedtime routine here, and my sleep log, which I try to make sure I'm sleeping very consistently and getting good, good sleep. I think it's super important to get good sleep, and so I like to keep track of it, so my sleep log. And then we get into my first planner section, and I've separated all my planners from each other with... Um, with these scrapbook like separating dashboard type things and i'd like to decorate them so this one has a wrong wrong sticker and um this disney sticker that says time to make magic which is so perfect and relevant because this is my magic and spirituality section i've decorated the back of the scrapbook paper with some disney stickers and some floral stickers and some glitter and then here i have my tonal Puali, which is my aztec calendar and i'm filling it in um a little bit by little bit so in the Aztec calendar every day is it has a has a meaning to it a spiritual meaning to it and so I'm trying to write down what each day means and there are um, 20 different types of days and so each one has a meaning and I've started writing it down but you know I'm taking it slow I'm gonna fill this in throughout the year and then we have finally my July divider and my July monthly and um, like I said, this these pages are from this Disney Be Happy planner with the dashboard layout. And for the monthly, uh, the monthly I definitely use for this planner because um, I keep track of not only the Aztec calendar cycles, but I also keep track of the zodiac cycles. I also like to keep track of the moon phases and the planetary movements and things like that. These are all things that for me have spiritual meaning and so I like to keep track of them. So like for example, Leo season begins July the 22nd. We have a full moon in Aquarius on the 23rd. Mars moves into the constellation of Virgo on the 29th. Um, we we enter this, the era of the dog according to the Aztec calendar on the 17th, things like that. And then here is the first week of July. And then this is the current week here. I really like how this this week turned out. And then we have the rest of the month with blank pages. The August overview and then I have my uh, scrapbook paper separating my next section which is my academic section my graduate school section and here we have um, what is this oh this is the May overview and then the last week in June and then the July overview the July divider and then the July monthly which I do use but I don't use like too much it depends on like how much like things I have going on in graduate school and then this is the first week in July and I used this really cute sticker book from the happy planner um, I think this is called the pastel tropics and then we have the current week here and I actually this this week um, it's kind of it, it was kind of like a random decorative uh, spread I thought I was gonna take this week off I ended up not taking it off so I didn't really decorate it too much or like put too much like time in decorating it when I did decide to decorate it so yeah and then we have um, the blank blank pages for next week oh and I almost completely forgot to share with you the planner that these pages come from so this again is a happy planner and this is the Disney Mickey Mouse uh, 
undated vertical planner and it's the one where they're like Mickey and Minnie are on the cover with their little hands in the heart it's super super cute and I love this planner for academics because it has this built-in to-do list and this grid box for um, for organizational purposes and I love it so that's where these pages come from then we have the next month's overview and then we go into my fitness section and um, I have my my scrapbook divider here which is also a sticky note dashboard I have all my fitness sticky notes on here and on the back of it I have my sticky note or I mean I have more stickers and then I have two pages of stickers fitness stickers in here and then we have my fitness pages which my fitness pages come from the wrong wrong fitness journal and this was the last week in may and so this is the june oh okay so i actually have my june monthly in here and the last week of my june in here as well because i kind of like seeing how much i worked out in june compared to july so this is how much i work out in june and i like comparing it to how much i am working out in july so this is my july overview and my july divider and, and this is my july monthly so every time i work out i Put a stamp I give myself a stamp on the day that I worked out and then I also write down like what I worked out uh, and then at the end of the month I like kind of like keeping track of how many times I worked out and how many times did I hit like these target areas or do different types of workouts so as you can see my June workout um, program was definitely not as intense as my July workout program. I'm really proud of myself for working out pretty consistently this this month. I'm actually going to take out this page here because I don't think I really need it and I'm going to pop it back into the fitness, my fitness, um, my fitness journal here. This is where this needs to go. Okay, there we go. So then we just have my June divider and then my June monthly and then the June, um, the July overview, the July monthly. And then this is the first week in July. I'm really loving what I'm doing with my hydration tracker on the side here. So I have started to do that pretty consistently and this is the current week. And my fitness journal is always much more functional than it is decorative like I very much prefer to leave space to write and to track things down as opposed to like decorate and journal so there is July the rest of July which is blank and then we have my scrapbook paper dividing the next section and this is my household section so on the back of that divider I have a bunch of household type stickers and then I have a little pack of household stickers here so I have some from farmhouse um, these are more household stickers from most of these are from um, the pastel mega sticker book again more pastel sticker book stickers for household purposes except these are from a different pastel these are from pastel rainbow sticker book and then these are from the pastel mega sticker book and then i just have some random ones from other places more household stickers and then i have a sheet of meal prep and recipe type stickers and then i have a sheet of pet stickers and then i have more farmhouse stickers um, that are household related and then this is the last week in june we have my july monthly which i don't really use too much so i just tend to decorate and then we have the July divider and the July monthly, which I will use, um, like I'll decorate it and then also, also I'll write things like important household events in here um, to kind of like memory keep. And then this is the first week in July. Uh, I love the dashboard style for this, uh, for this section. And before I forget, the, the dashboard pages um, come from this planner here. This is the Adventure Awaits planner with the saguaro on the cover. And I actually was using this cover for my happy planner, like um, as the main cover for my happy planner. And for the last six months, and I finally decided to switch it up to the colorful leopard one, but I just adore this cover so much. 
So there we go. This is um, my the first week in July for my household planner, and I have my habit tracker, a little habit tracker here that I finished. And yeah, so um, I love the dashboard style for this for the household because it already has your errand section and your to buy section, and it has like bills to pay and calls and email sections, but I don't really use those, so I end up having this these two boxes be like free for all like whatever i decide to use them for is what i use them for and then on in this grid section down here uh, i also use this for whatever i want but lately i've been liking um using it kind of as a morning routine evening routine um type of section all dashboard styles have this monday through sunday like box here i use this for my five minute tasks these are just like tasks that take, you know, about five minutes to complete, but I need to do them like every single week. This section is my five minute tasks. And so that is that. And then this is the current week. So I used some princess stickers and uh, for this week, some washi tape. And yeah, I have my grocery list here. I like to keep track of like all the groceries that I have currently and that I want to use so that I know what I have at all times and what I can make with it. And my household bookmark. And yeah, this was the current week. And then we have uh, the next couple of weeks in July that are still blank. And that was my household section. And then the next section is my nonprofit section. So I have my scrapbook paper um, there. And then on the back of it, some stickers. For some reason, in my nonprofit section, I like to use uh, more of a muted palette. So I've been slowly working through my Wild Styled sticker book, which has these muted, um, more like minimalistic type colors. They're not super bright. So I've been working through my Wild Styled sticker book, and these are actually the last, uh, the last stickers that I have from that sticker book. Uh, so I have those clipped in here, and then we have my July divider. These pages actually come from the Stephanie Fleming planner that says, define your passion, nurture your creativity, and take hold of your dreams. Hashtag live a happy life. I got this planner because uh, for my nonprofit section because I am an artist for one of my um, one of my nonprofit organizations, a science communication organization that uses mixed media to communicate science. So I draw a lot and I illustrate a lot for that organization and so I wanted a very neutral layout so everyone who has this planner knows that it has a very neutral layout there's no color on the pages and I really wanted that for uh, for doodling like so I could doodle and draw in the planner um, because that's part of my work that I do for this organization so I have my monthly overview here and then I have just like my weekly layout and I haven't been doodling in here as much which I need to get back on because I totally like when I first started um, using this planner I was like doodling in it so much let me actually show you what that looks like I was using it a uh, doodling in it so much and I loved how I was using it and then I just kind of stopped. So as you can see, like this is what this planner looked like. Um, do you see how much I, I drew and doodled in it? Oh my God, I, I need to get back on this. <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of fun doing that and I just kind of stopped. So I need, to, I need to get back on that. So that is my uh, nonprofit and community service work planner. And my last section in this planner in this mega planner is my budget section so I have my divider with my budget stickers on the side and then I have the beginning of the July budget section and then I have my budget review here which I don't really use too much um, but I kind of want to start using it a little bit more but these pages come from this good things happen to those who budget happy planner savvy saver oh, okay that's the name of this this is the savvy saver budget planner so yeah I really like this planner um, it's great for keeping track of all my financial stuff and so yeah this is the monthly overview and I'm not gonna flip through the um, the actual pages because it has all my financial information on it and uh, yeah but I like to use the monthly to mark out my bills I also like to use it to like um, whenever I don't spend something I give myself a stamp um, yeah so there we go 
that's my budget section. And those are all my sections that I have in this particular planner. So again, like I said, this one has seven sections in it and these are all of my more serious, more like functional day-to-day -day sections. And my other planner with, with my eight other sections, these are all like my fun, my fun sections. But I hope you enjoyed that flip through through my uh, through this part one part one of my happy planner universe, and if you did, um, let me know which one was your favorite planner down below, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.